Howdy folks, Wes here, Craft Beer Geek. Well, uh, it's, it's into January now, I'm getting ready to take the Christmas decorations down, but I thought I'd go ahead and film at least one beer review with the decorations still up, and uh, go ahead and drink a sort of a Christmassy beer. This is the uh, Bison Brewing Organic Gingerbread Ale. Uh, it's They say it's a porter with spices. Um, comes in at 6% alcohol by volume, and Bison is uh, from Berkeley, California. And this is a certified organic brewery. And I paid two fifty for this 12-ounce bottle at my local beer store. So, um, let's go ahead and crack it open and see what we got. I wasn't able to get much head off of it, so. I sort of have the lights a lot lower than normal for the, so hopefully the, the Christmas decorations will show up better. But it's a, uh, call it a dark, dark red color. Very spicy. It smells almost like uh, some pumpkin ales do. It's interesting. So, uh, go ahead and give this a taste and see what I think of it. Hmm. Ooh. Yeah. Tastes like gingerbread cookies. Or gingerbread men, I guess. Um, has a nice, light, crisp mouthfeel to it. Mmm, wow, this is good. I guess it's somewhat porterish, but it's more like a dark pumpkin slash harvest ale, is what I, you know, it's kind of, it kind of doesn't fit really anywhere in any particular category. It's kind of got a little bit of several things, but it's it's very, very tasty. And it's a little bit malty, a little bit spicy. It's it's very well balanced. It's not it's not it's not like some pumpkin ales where the where the the there's like not much maltiness and it's all spice. This has you know this has a good mixture of both things. And it makes it makes it taste more like gingerbread cookies, you know. Because it give that get that bradyness and that body to it, and along with the spices, and it tastes really good. It's, it's sweet, a little bit sweet. You know, just like gingerbread cookies are a little bit sweet. You know, they're not sweet, sweet, but they're you know they're sweet enough to balance out the spices there. Yeah, this isn't this isn't particularly like a you know a Great American Beer Fest World Cup you know super high end beer, but this is a good you know for what they tried to do. I think they hit the mark. Um, really enjoyable sort of winter or holiday sort of ale. Quite tasty. This is something um, I think people who maybe aren't beer connoisseurs would actually enjoy. Um, be sort of maybe a start for them to get into the world of beer. It's not. It's not like super hoppy. It's not. It's it's well balanced. It's not super heavy. Uh, it's not going to be like tons of alcohol. It's 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 a really flavorful, but easily enjoyable beer and it, it, it's really it's really good in that aspect I think <clears throat> this 
so I have to come up with how I'm going to rate this. I think I'm thinking. I think I'm going to. Yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to go with an eight out of ten on this. Um, it surprised me a little bit. Like I said, it's not. It's not like a the next gold medalist at World Beer Cup or anything like that. But it's it's a very tasty beer. It's something I will uh, if I see it next holiday season. I'd pick some up with this and. Uh, Maybe share it with some friends who maybe aren't exactly the uh, quite the beer enthusiasts I am, but it's a, it's a very good beer, very tasty. So eight out of ten for the Bison Gingerbread Ale. So I'm West, your craft beer geek. I don't drink bad beers. You shouldn't either. See you next time. Cheers.